is now, so hear me up on this, we line it up with a bench underneath. Alrighty guys, welcome back to ARK, where today we are going to be working on the egg pen for the Feather Light and Glow Tail. Now, I already got some foundations placed down with pillars, I, again, this is just a 4x2. Um, I got a rough idea of what I want to do for the Feather Lights. Um, for the Glow Tails though, I'm kind of coming like to a blank there trying to think up of anything. Alrighty, now I do want to go around with railings, go up probably about one more. Um, also, if you guys are wondering, I, this isn't exactly my original design. Uh, what I did is I went on YouTube here and I actually went around and looked at feather light pens. Just feather light pens, by the way. Uh, one of them was from a guy where it's by Andrew DFT. That's where I got the idea here for the... Uh, this for like kind of like a chicken wire pen so we're gonna go up by one more and then what we're gonna do this is also kind of where i got this idea we're gonna stack the glow tail pen on top of it huh yeah just so that way we can save room then we can use this room over here for more pens also i i have realized something here structures block that so I have to be, like, within direct sight of these plants. Now, down here on the beach is just fine. It's back in here where we have a problem. Because this one is now obstructed by this structure. And this one has this entire time been obstructed by both of these structures. So, I don't know what to do. The only idea thing I could do, think of is kind of, like, move them towards the middle. You know, like, kind of have, like, a path of them go down. But I like them here next to the buildings. I don't know. We'll probably work up something. We'll throw some glow pets around, you know. Alright, now I'm going back in with some wood pillars. I think those would look nice. Again, still kind of copying off of Aaron Longstaff's design here. Um, I'm planning on changing it here, though, once we get working on this part. I'm gonna go up one more, though, here with pillars on these two. Yep. I think then we should be good okay so as you guys can see here i got some wooden walls up now i think they look pretty nice from the outside i'm still, again still working on it now though i'm wanting to do this i got me some greenhouse ceilings and walls here now i'm wondering what would that look like if i sloped that and just capped off that end Too bad I can't just do, like, a very, like, aggressive slope all the way up to that one. I mean, I'd ha I could. I'd ha Let's see. Okay, that looks decent. I put up a window as well. So this right here will just kind of be, like, the open area for the feather lights. And down in here. And up here, we'll do the glow tails. I think I should start working on that now. Okay, so I got something going here. I got some stairs up here on the left side. I don't know what I would do over here. Thinking about throwing something. So that way it just doesn't look like eh, ugly like it does. Then up here, we're going to wall this off. We're going to probably try and slope a roof down from this side. And all that. And we'll have over here. Okay, got railings now. That looks actually pretty nice. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it's it's a good structure. Just, I don't know if it matches the theme. Well, not like we really have a theme going on. I wonder, well, I wonder if there's ways I can paint it so that way it looks like these. Because I, all I did here is I went through and I highlighted the wood. But if I go over here and highlight the wood, it's not going to really look that great. So I wonder if, say, I do the metal here for the feather lights, the metal in the greenhouse, and then I just do the roof up top for the glow tails. Okay, now I'm trying to think of something here. I mean, I could do it. I might do it. Okay, so I got some benches and catwalks here. Now, originally I was questioning on whether or not I should do this, but I think it looked pretty good right there. And I could probably 
No. I don't think it would work. Can I get you? Yeah, I can get you to snap. Like that. And like that. You know what? I think that would work for what I want to do. Alright? That should work. Because now... So, hear me up on this. We line it up with a bench underneath. Boom. Now, I know it doesn't look the greatest. And honestly, I wish there were kind of like actual like chicken coop structures. Where I could just like pop them in bit boxes. Lou, I like just had a stroke. What the hell? Um, but anyways, I know that there is like a structure like that. I believe an actual S plus. Let me check. I could have sworn there's a structure in here. Planetary. Uh, that's first. This one, right? Place filled cryopods inside and it will generate unfertilized eggs, poop, and many other resources. I wonder, yeah. Like, wit, like honestly, if we were to ever do, like, attack of Titan base, we are having, like, this thing in there. Because, like, again, it would be very useful. But it's very expensive. I mean, I could legit just throw all my farms in this, probably. And we'd be good. But I like doing farms this way in, like, actual bases where they kind of, like, here. I'll get you guys a bird's eye view. Like, look at this. So we've kind of gotten this corner here all blocked off, right? Trying to kind of block in those mushrooms there. Now, over here, the mushrooms are kind of, like, you see them right below me. Now, I could do some more structures over there. I might as well. Like the polymer farm and all that. But I was trying to leave that area open for the breeding zone. Um, I know I'm definitely going to either have to expand this wall out more. Or... Is that just... Yeah, that, that was just rolling. Or we expand a little bit. You know, like by those rocks. We go out there. We set up another little like poopy like farm thing. We've got to find a way to get fertilizer over there so we have to set up a poop farm or something out there um so that way we could keep some plant species x alive to fight off uh, creatures anyways but this one is going by actually fairly well and i actually kind of like it now you know what i might do another catwalk over here above the door Okay, let's... Hold on, can we still get in and out the door? Yes. Looks weird, though. So that one might just... This one might just be, like, a bench. A couple benches on this side. Then I do want to do an entire row of benches here on the back. Do you want it to look... Like it's kind of in bedded in the wall a bit. Here. Let's rethink this. I'm trying not to move as much as possible because I think I got lined up pretty well here. Boom. And bang. And then Shabbata boom. There we go. Um, that looks like it would work pretty well. I, if I can stand on it, they can stand on it. Now that, that, we are definitely going to have some, like, free roam. Um, I do believe that they fly during free roam as well. So, here, how about this? I'm going to finish up this wall. We'll, then we'll throw, or we'll hatch up our feather lights. I haven't done that yet. But, well, here. Like, yeah, I got them all. You know what? Here, I'll just do the, I'll fill them in there later. Because, like, again, that took forever. I also got some of these guys almost max level now. I've been just sitting there chill. I would go and get Explorer Notes and then just sit there chill next to them and kill some, uh... Legit, just chilling over here, killing babies, gives them a lot of XP. Like, I will show you here. Like, Rufus even has a lot more levels. He's got five, but he's up there as well. He's almost maxed. Uh, you... You... I am sorry, you guys can probably hear the people driving by on their motorcycle. It's hot and I have my window open, but yeah. Got the eggs here as well. But anyways, I think, yeah, I'll pop the eggs here once we're done. Then I'll fill up this, but we're going to finish off the top first. 
Okay, now... Where's my door? There's my door friend. Boop, there we go. And then we'll throw that on. Then... Goosh. Goosh. Now, I need to try and figure out how to do the roof. Alrighty, so I have decided that we gotta use some ramps here for this side because there's not really... I don't have these for the roofs to snap to over here. I think it looks nicer with the ramp. So we need to put down these. Boom. Boom. Boom and a boom. Now, let's see how this looks. I think that's the way it's going to have to look. Now, I think... Yeah, that wall snapped to the wrong one, definitely. I want it to be flush with the wood. There we go. Now, boom. Boom. Yep. That looks good. Actually does. Surprisingly. I just jumped all in the bushes. And voila. There we go. Got it ceilinged. Got some benches down. Now I just need two windows. Sorry, four windows. I forgot about the two up here. Then voila. There is where we're going to throw the glow tails. I know, it's not as impressive as, say, this one. Where it's got this open area for them to fly around in. But the glow tails really don't need to be set on Wander. Neither do the feather lights, but I always have had the dodos on Wander. You know, kind of in like a chicken coop. So I want to do it with the feather lights. See what happens. Um, I could try with glow tails, but I don't think it would work. Okay, so I have decided uh, we're not going to paint the feather light section because Simple Kibble is legit just white. And I initially planted on painting the metal. Now, painting metal is utterly useless in arc unless it's a dark color or a vibrant color so say like a soft one like gray or white you will not even be able to tell so we're just gonna do this where we paint the roof of uh the glow tail green i mean i could do all the pillars on that side but i think you know what? Let's fuck it. Go for the railing. We're gonna go for the railing. Just because I feel like it's not enough. Ooh, what I just paint. Did I paint this pillar? I painted something. Doesn't look like I did. Okay. Go by slowly. There we go. Now we got ourselves a nice little egg farm. I will say this. It is notably different in terms of farms that I've made. Because we got that one and then we got these ones. Now, I have, again, I have used a mixture of stone and wood. But mixing in the greenhouse and the metal... I think it, 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 was a, it was more than necessary, but it made it look good, okay? It looks good, alright? Now, I'm not 100% on the greenhouse above, but I feel like that'd be a nice little cap to throw on top, was a greenhouse. And then over here on the side, the, the deck, I think that was a really nice touch for uh, getting in and out. Now, I did think about painting these pillars, and I'm gonna not. Because I feel like if I paint the pillars, they're going to look weird compared to all the other ones. So let's just leave it at the railing and the ceiling or green. And that's just so that way you know where to go for the green. Uh, is it the eggs for the... If I could talk. So that way you know where to go for the eggs that are green. Jesus, I can't talk today. I just focused my brain in doing this and it melted. <laughs>